Welcome. In this video clip, we will look at the subtraction strategy called Keep a Constant Difference. In order for students to be successful with this strategy, they must first understand that subtraction means finding the difference between two numbers. So for example, in the problem, 8 minus 4, students must realize that they are finding the difference between 8 and 4. Once the 4 has been removed, we are left with this difference or the space between 8 and 4. In addition to understanding that subtraction means finding the difference, it will also be helpful for students to have some prior experiences subtracting with regrouping, for example, with using base 10 blocks. The keep a constant difference strategy is one of the most advanced subtraction strategies and should be taught towards the end of your subtraction unit after teaching other strategies such as adjusting one number, counting back, or place value strategies. This strategy will primarily be seen in grades three through five. The keep a constant difference strategy directly relates to the computational fluency standards in grades three through five that ask students to use their numbers or their knowledge of numbers and number relationships to subtract fluently. The keep a constant difference strategy builds on the idea that both numbers in a subtraction problem can be modified by the same amount while keeping that difference or that space between the two numbers the same. Once students understand that, they can recognize that both parts of a subtraction problem can be manipulated to eliminate the need for regrouping, which will then make subtraction easier. This strategy is going to be most useful when the digit in the ones place of the subtrahend, for example, in this problem, the eight, is greater than the digit in the ones place in the minuend or if the digit in the tens place is greater than the digit in the um, tens place of the minuend. The keep a constant difference strategy is meant to be a mental math strategy. However, when initially introducing the strategy to students, it's going to be helpful for students to have access to dry erase boards, uh, markers, and number lines. Now I'm going to model introducing the keep a constant difference strategy to students. Boys and girls, we have learned that subtraction means finding the difference between two numbers. So for example, if I was subtracting eight minus four, I would be finding the difference between eight and four. I take away the four, I'm left with this difference or the space between the two numbers. Um, now, if I were to shift these two numbers one place to the left or take away one from each of those numbers, I still have the same difference, even though my problem changes to seven minus three but my difference is still four. If I were to take those same two numbers, eight and four, and shift them one place to the right or make them greater by one, I now have changed the problem to nine minus five, but I still have the difference of four. So let's try this with some other numbers to see if this will always work. So then I would give the students some other really easy, probably single digit um, subtraction problems to see if they can generalize that this does indeed always work. Now that we know that we can change both numbers by the same amount while keeping the difference the same, boys and girls, we can use this to make problem subtraction problems easier to solve. When we are faced with tricky subtraction problems where normally we would need to regroup, we can change both numbers by the same amount or move them on the number line by the same amount. Let's try to solve this problem, 22 minus eight. Since the eight in the ones place here is larger than the two in the ones place in this minuend, normally we would need to regroup to solve this. Instead, we're going to make this problem easier so we can eliminate that need to regroup. Let's take a look at what this looks like on a number line. So this is our problem right here, 22 minus eight. And as I said, normally we would need to regroup to solve this, but let's try shifting both of the numbers up just one or two to see if we can eliminate that need to regroup. So let's see, I'm going to shift 22 up by one. Now my problem becomes 23 minus nine. The difference is still the same, but oh, look, I still need to regroup with this. Let me shift both numbers up once more and see if I can eliminate that need for regrouping. I have just shifted both numbers up by two or added two to each number. So now my problem just became 24 minus 10. Look how easy that is. Now I don't have to regroup. Now I can easily see 24 minus 10 
is, well, it is 14. You'll have to take my word on that. Let's try another problem. In this problem here, we have, in this problem here, we have 40 minus 21. Now, again, normally we would need to do some regrouping in order to solve this problem. However, here I'm going to go ahead and change our number line. And I'm going to place both numbers on the number line and see if I can modify both numbers uh, by the same amount, keeping that difference the same, in order to make this problem easier to solve. So again, normally I would need to regroup. This time let's try shifting the numbers once to the left or taking one away from each number. So I will make this one smaller and this one one smaller, keeping the difference or the space between the two of them the same. And look how easy that problem just became. Now the problem became 39 minus 20. The difference between the two is the same. However, um, it's easier to solve now. Uh, when introducing this strategy to students, it's going to be best to start with really simple examples so students can easily see those number relationships. Once the numbers get trickier, be sure to provide just ample experience and ample practice using the strategy, but not necessarily finding the answer, just how to effectively use the strategy to manipulate those numbers. Eventually, this should become a mental math strategy, uh, and the number lines, the paper, the pencils, the dry erase boards should be remo removed. Thank you for listening to the video clip on Keep a Constant Difference Strategy.